Welcome to Hi-Fi Collective. Today we are going to be changing the Alps Blue Pot on this Kel 84, which is a, a World Audio Design kit. And you can see here, we've got the Alps Blue. Alps Blue is very popular for a kind of reasonable cost pot. So we're gonna change it to one of these, which is the glass house steps attenuator two channel using PRP resistors as the shunt and then Tapman one watts for the series. Now to do this job we also need to use the extension kit which we sell which is here. Tools for the job you've got Allen keys, you've got a reamer because you're going to have to open the front hole on the front panel. Cutters, pliers, spanner, desolder pump, solder, and iron. So first part of the job is to get access to the Alps. So take, take the knob off. Loosen up the nut on the front. You have to be careful here, you're not going to scratch up the, the anodized front panel. That's pretty easy. I'm using these, but you might be better off with more substantial pliers. So now we have access to the pot, so just to make desoldering easier. So you can see that you've got two rows of three connect connectors here. So you want to make sure you don't get confused. So I'm going to put tie wrap around there. Just to keep that together. Put that because that's one channel. And then the tie wrap around there. As long as you keep these together, you don't really need to, it doesn't matter which channel they are. As long as they're wired to the same way for on the attenuator. Right, so get your iron. Soldering on this isn't so great, but don't worry about that. So this one is the signal input because it's always on the, the outside one which luckily in this case is on a black screen and the gray is the output. So hitch up the wire, here we go. And then that's the earth. That's pretty straightforward. Off, off. off and the cat wants to go out. So you can see that this, the step attenuator is too large to fit in the original location of the Alps pot. It's going to touch the terminals, it will be shorting, so it has to be located obviously in line with the hole, so we're going to put it here. On this one, just to be doubly safe, we've heat shrinked the actual body so there's no contact anywhere and also it helps with dust it alleviates getting dust in there so basically you can see we can we're going to put it there so we're going to use the extension kit and luckily we've got vent holes here so we should be able to use those so I'm going to play around with it so that, that'll go nicely. So no drilling required. You'll see that we've done a bit of pre-work. We've had to widen the middle hole so that it goes over the bush like that. So just put this in. Right, so we've done some work to figure out the exact kind of location of the steps attenuated at the back. You can see it's 
basically lined up straight. I mean, yeah, luckily no drilling required because the vent holes hold the, the frame in place. So tighten them up. So after you've done this, you need to open up the front panel hole. Use a reamer. Don't try and increase the hole, the hole diameter with a drill bit because it would just snag. It would just make a nasty job and you might even twist the metal. So reamers are superb. They'll open the hole up slowly. So do a bit, insert the bush, this thing. So reamer in there, bang, bang, bang. We did that earlier anyway. So in there. So the internal diameter this is, is six mil, so the aluminium rod fits snugly in there. So I'm gonna have to get the pliers on that. Yeah, again, watch, watch out for your front panel. Cool. All right. You're going to have to cut the rod down. So you can see there's a bit of give anyway in, in the frame. So if you need to bend it a bit, you can. So there it is, like this. You need to mark for a cut about there. Okay, so we've cut our rod shorter. So, put that through. Here's your the coupler. Put that on there. You might have to loosen up a bit. So, just put the rod through the hole. You have to loosen off the grub screws. There we go. So. Don't tie them up all the way because you you want kind of equal pressures coming from all four grub screws. So just tighten it so it's touching. Shards back. I'm gonna do the full tighten now. Cool, put the knob on. Right, so you can see that the step simulator is two wafers. So that'd be one channel, that'd be the other channel. So we've already extended the wires that were covered by the heat shrink right here. So this one is the signal input. This one is earth because it's attached to the ring and this one is your output. So you just got to wire it up and you can see that that one reaches just about. I might have to extend the earth. You can always re-loom it if you wanted to but we're going to keep the original stuff and then that one will go there. As um, the years go by my eyesight is getting a bit worse. I'm short-sighted, so I wear glasses. But what I use these days is times two reading glasses. Now, you could go to the expense of getting a prescription and reading glasses, but if you go to the likes of Tiger or Hammer or Boots, you can get times two reading glasses. These are four pounds. So just put them over your normal glasses and you can see everything, really and you don't strain your eyes, so there's a tip for you. So we've had to extend the piece of screened wire that feeds from the input of the board here 
because it was too short. So we're going to do the same to the other side, so the wires are similar. So you can see this is the signal output going to the input of the board. That's a new bit of wire. You've got your earth there, and you've got a signal input from all your the selector switch. You'll find there's lots of old solder on there, so just try and clean it off as much as you can. But the solder's still good. So that's one channel done. This used to be the earth loop that went on the body, but you don't need to worry about that because it will be earthed here. So we'll cut that short. Try and keep the wires together like this. Use tie wraps. But I won't do that yet until I've done the other channel. So that's one channel done. Obviously make sure the wires aren't touching. So just to do a check that the step's working well, basically connect, put your meter on DC resistance, connect to the output, signal output of the step and the earth. Um, and as you turn it up, you can see the resistance increases. So go through all the way to the end. You can have to move scales, ranges. Up, up. So do the same to the other channel, and we're ready to go. We have wired in the new step attenuator. One channel here, the other channel here. So we're ready to rock and roll. We'll put all the links for what you need to get to do it. But let's go and have a listen. <laughs> 